see all this stuff right here? <laughs> this is all honeysuckle. I have to deal with it every year all over my property. An interesting thing about honeysuckle is even though they bloom crazy numbers of blooms, this is one I took down last year, but even though they bloom like crazy, you will never see a honeybee on them. So about every year, about this time, well, actually a little bit earlier, something actually created that circular spot right there. I don't know what would have done that. But about this time of year, usually in the spring when it gets warm, there's actually more of it right there. In the spring when it gets warm, I come out here and I go around the garden with a machete and I chop these down because if I don't get to them now, they will uh, take over very quickly. Now this is the Tramontina Bolo and as you can tell, if you've ever seen these from the factory, I put a razor sharp edge on these. This is not the factory grind. This is, I've redone it. I kind of do this up here a little bit differently. Um, there was a guy on, I believe it was a loan. Oh, I think it was actually season two where he puts actually a Scandi grind. I'm on the, like the first three or four inches of his, or maybe even longer than that. And I've actually got, so I've got a couple of these. Um, I've actually, I think I own four of the Bolos, believe it or not. And, uh, I did the first one kind of similar to his, and I don't like that Scandi grind that, that long on the blade because it kind of messes up some other things. When I use these for bushcraft, um, I'm actually hitting mostly like when I'm doing trees, you're on the edge of it here. But then when you're actually chopping wood for a firewood, you're farther up toward the handle. So, or if you're like doing shavings. And you can see it cuts right through it, but I gotta do it every year. Cause I just haven't figured out a way to really kill these to where they're gone for forever. Which is kind of funny. I can kill about any kind of plant except for these things. But this is not a out here chopping down weeds video. I wanted to show you something else about this. <clears throat> that I think is kind of unique. Something I do differently with my sheath. And... Let's lay this down here and let me get this sheath off and I'll be right back. I probably should have brought a camera mount because I just realized I didn't and I'm going to end up needing both hands. Anyways, I use the marble sheath for the bolo. It fits this, even though this is Traumatina, it fits it perfectly. But you can see that I've got They've got some pockets on the side and it took me a while to get this together, but it comes with a sharpener. Now I've not even taken the sharpener out of the package on this one. Um, some of the other ones I've used the sharpener out in the woods, but I basically, I have a Bayite ferro rod. You can get these in like, I think it's a three pack or a four pack. Comes with a little metal hook. So I keep that down here in this bottom just because if you're out in the woods chopping woods, you might need to create a fire. So you got a ferro rod to create a fire with, but it goes even one step farther because I found these little tins that fit this package perfectly. Now they're a little hard to get out on this one because this is a relatively newer one. Let me see if I can push this out. It's hard to do really one-handed for sure. 
but with both hands it comes out a little bit easier even though it's pretty tight there I guess I just proved that if you injured a hand you could get this out with one hand and then inside of this I've actually got guess what it is guess what it is guess what it is have you guessed all right, maybe this is where I'm going to need two hands. Nope, I just had it open and I closed it by accident. So in here, guess what that is? Pre-shaven fat wood. And you saw me shave fat wood in a previous video. I'll link to above. So I got some fat wood ready to go. Why you want to have fat wood already ready to go? Because if you've ever been out in the woods and it's pouring down rain and you can't really find a place where you're sheltered, to start shaving down wood you know your hands are wet the woods wet and even if your hands are dry the woods wet so when you start shaving it your hands get wet and guess what you just transfer that water all over everything so I just like to have a backup that's not to say I'm going to use this every time I start a fire but I've got it in case it's bad conditions and I need to get a fire and it's pouring down rain and everything's wet I've already got dry tender and it's fat wood which means it's going to spark into a flame really easy with that ferro rod but I go one step farther I mentioned in a previous video I found a plasma lighter that I loved that was smaller than the one I did a review on and that's where this is going to come out because I found a little plasma lighter that fits in here and it even has a whistle how's that sweet huh so if you're lost out in the woods now you also got a whistle you also got some cordage if you need to make a bow drill and you've got a plasma lighter now these plasma lighters i'm gonna be honest with you i had never used one until just recently and i've found fell in love with them they work really well check that out they work really really well Anyways, I'll take and link to this whole kit, the Tramantina, the Marple Sheath, the Plasma Lighter, the little tin that you can get that fits these pockets, and also the ferro rod down in the video description because I think this is a really sweet, lightweight, very capable for processing firewood and starting fires oops little safety latch there that goes over to hold the lid down and i just think it's a very capable system that all fits in this marble sheath i think it's like the coolest thing ever so anyways in my in my vehicles i keep you know basically a get home bag you know if i ever break down i can get home and I have one of these kits, which is why this one's brand new and not used yet. Because after I put this kit together for my bushcraft thing that I keep around the house when I'm out walking in the woods. I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so useful to have in like my get home bag. You know, it's way lighter than carrying, a, you know, even a small hatchet. It's lighter than carrying a small hatchet. So now you have a very capable way to create a fire if you're broke down, you're walking home miles or something like that. You see what I'm getting at. And this fits right in here. Trying to do all this one handed makes it always fun. But I'll have some other videos coming up soon with this in it. I was going to, it's you know, it's like February, what is today, 15th, February 15th. I was actually going to, originally I, I had planned to like do an outdoor meal or something in one of my biomass stoves. And I kind of got tied up for work and I've only got about 15 or 20 minutes of daylight left probably. So 72 degrees, February 15th. Isn't that crazy? 
so yeah um all of this stuff let's see i'm trying to remember i don't really remember what i paid i think this whole entire set with everything that's in it is definitely less than 50 bucks that's the sheath the machete the lighter the tin can and the fire steel less than 50 bucks easily so i'll link to everything in the description and uh stick around i definitely have more homesteading more survival saturday stuff coming up but this will be under the survival saturday stuff and uh we'll have some more stuff coming up here soon anyways be glad when it's warm every day so i can be out here in the woods because you know what comes next moral mushroom hunting moral mushroom hunting is next right around the corner any day now the way these temperatures have been that would be almost crazy i generally find moral mushrooms here into april first of may but you know this year it could be end of february first of march where this weather's been everything seems like it's been eight weeks earlier than previous years watching that video footage that i shot and i realized that if i don't do this and prove this works someone is going to call me out on this so let me get this little container back out of here and we're going to use this tramontina to spark this sparrow rod and get us a little fire going we're going to pretend like it's like pouring down rain so we're going to use a little bit of fat wood make sure you can see this here a little bit of fat wood Put it back in here. We'll take out a little fire steel. I'm not going to use the, uh, I've already showed you the plasma lighter works. We're going to use the back of our Tramontina here. So our fire steel is brand new, never been used. That means might not get it on the first strike because we got to get that black coating off of there. But we are going to get this going really, really easy. Move, cat. gonna be honest with you these little shorter ferro rods a little bit harder to hold on to there we go obviously you would have more wood laying around but I am literally right next to my house. So there we go. Barrow rod, Tramontina, works. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.